always assumed I would be a terrible mother until I started dating men. Now I know I would have been a good one. I just don't want to be one. I don't want to be a mom. I've never wanted to be a mom. And men made me realize that not only do I not want to have kids, that I actually don't want to deal with men. <laughs> Most of them. Okay, so I just found my old phone from years ago when I was dating that narcissistic king baby abuser dude. And uh, the notes are like, phew, like I can't believe I had this much insight while I was in this relationship. I'm so proud of myself for still having a sense of humor and realizing what's happening. I just didn't have the power to actually leave because I was so like, Clitmatized and had too much codependency and just too much. I mean, I was whatever. I finally got out, but I got you guys have to read this. Okay, my last um, one about notes that I found that made me realize like how much these dudes financially abuse you is just click the video uh, linked in the in the caption. Look what I wrote. Talk about. <laughs> Talk about daddy issues. Okay, so for anyone new here, I'm a writer and a storyteller and I take a lot of notes just so that I'll never forget how I was feeling and things if I ever want to write about them. But this was kind of like journaling for me because I have terrible handwriting. I took a lot of notes because I didn't ever want to forget how I felt in this relationship also, even if I never wrote about it. But look at this. Talk about daddy issues. Let's talk about mama issues. <laughs> He literally sucks on my nipples and makes baby noises, but it's kind of not a joke because I later, uh, I, I literally, oops, take care of him like a mommy. <laughs> Walking on eggshells around his temper tantrums, giving him the Kindle to play with. <laughs> okay, it, it, for reference to that, see the last video. I literally, um, I had a Kindle and the man, he, in a fit of rage, broke my TV by throwing it at me and broke my uh, DVD player by throwing that at me. And so all we had left, uh, other than my computer, which I never let him touch, was my Kendall. And I realized my Kendall was kind of like a little pacifier for the baby. Because men, these men are so bored. They hate themselves. They can't entertain themselves. And, you know, just like, just like, you, you know, <laughs> someone said in my last comment, I literally had screen time for him. So he would leave me alone and just like, just give me peace for a minute. So that's what this Kindle reference is about. Okay, uh, bring him the pen Kindle to play with. I pull it out of my little diaper bag, having to check in with him constantly because he can't go more than two hours without talking to me. Like I said, these men, when they blow up your phone all day, that is kind of a form of abuse. I know that some men like, Again, I, I, I know sometimes it's like men with ADHD, get that under control, bros. Leave her alone. Like you don't need to share your every thought with her. But a lot of times it's not ADHD. It's, it's, it's a control tactic. It's like, where are you? What are you doing? Are you not thinking about me? Because you have to be thinking about the baby. Look at this. He even stayed in my place while I was in Dallas. The dude. So I, I you know, luckily, you know, I've always traveled a lot. That's my thing travel alone a lot. I went to Dallas to meet some, some friends that I had planned a long time ago. And I was nervous about leaving the baby home, home alone without a babysitter. And I had a roommate before. And honestly, I was so much safer when I had a roommate because I had witnesses, her and her boyfriend, who also <laughs> was a criminal. Like I said in another video in this whole thread, these men are criminals, man. They're all criminals. They lie about their criminal record anyway. But at least I had witnesses in the house. But when this was happening, she had already moved out. It was just me and him alone. So the baby is home alone in my house. I was like so nervous. Look what I wrote here, y'all. This is so insightful, honestly. Even stayed in my place while in Dallas. And I imagine him sucking on his thumb, laying in my bed, watching my Kindle, waiting for mommy to come home. <laughs> It'd be one thing if I actually wanted to be a mother, but that's what I realized in this relationship. A, I would have actually maybe been an okay mother, probably a little too codependent and controlling because look, I'm sitting on the floor, my dog is in my chair, okay? So I still do it with, this is the only king baby I allow in my house or in my life. I didn't think I actually was a nurturing, caring person. Yeah, I've always been a tomboy. I've always like, even in our, our marriage, my husband is the very loving, nurturing. He cooks for me. He, he always is taking care of me. Like he's actually shocked when I'm like, you know, he had like an ear op operation thing and I was like cleaning the wound and he was like, Oh, look at you taking care of me. <laughs> he's so used to taking care of me. Okay. So 
just to give you an idea, I've always just been like like the cold-hearted bird. Not really a lot of it's a trauma response. But I'm like kind of the dude in, in all my relationships. I always have been. And then I got with this guy. And I was like, what? What is this? I don't want to be a mom. You know? And he turned me into a mom. And the thing is, is that no men deserve unconditional love. That is reserved for children and my dog. Nobody else gets that. And this man, these men, and they even talk about it on podcasts. They're like, no woman will unconditionally love me. It's like, bro, you, you, ha you have never unconditionally loved a woman. You don't even unconditionally love your own kids. You want a legacy, right? Because you have nothing to be proud of yourself. And you don't even want to raise these kids. You literally just have babies to control women and have something to be proud of. Even though you, sh all, your legacy is trauma. Your legacy is abandonment. Your legacy is being a piece of blah, dad and your kids hating you. That's your legacy. But anyway, these men do not know how to unconditionally love anything. Not even dogs. Okay. And yet they want us to unconditionally love them. I swear these men, they want a mommy they can fork. That's it. And unless you're twisted in the head, you usually don't want to fork your child, right? So that's why women, like, if we, when we don't want to fork men, it's usually because they're making us into their mom. And it's repulsive to us to parent somebody and also be attracted to them. It should be repulsive. So these king babies, at the very least, they're gonna ruin your life and um, empty your bank account. But they m most likely, likely will give you a lot of trauma, take years off of your life, autoimmune diseases and stuff. They leave you with schmegual trauma. They leave you with children sometimes. Like I've said before, my ex literally said that he was upset that I had an IUD because now he can't knock me up and trap me. Now you can leave. Oh, I gotta find those in the notes. I literally have the quote in the notes somewhere. I just, I just opened up a gold mine, y'all. Old Melanie, young Melanie, young, like, inexperienced, haven't dealt with any of her trauma. Melanie, oh God, she still was very insightful. I can learn a lot from her. The mindset, even in that relationship, I was like, what is this? I don't want to be a mom. And I'm proud of younger Melanie for getting the fork out of there. Stayed a lot longer than I should have. Almost died, still in a lot of debt because of that one man. But I'm so proud that I got out and I hope sharing this with whoever out there might be helpful somehow. Cause this stuff is really embarrassing. It's so, in it's so embarrassing, but you're not alone. So many women have dated hobo schedules, parasitic losers, bums. They're everywhere y'all. They don't really warn us about financial abuse. And when they do, they, we always assume it's going to be some rich dude. No, 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 no. It's these broke dudes. These broke dudes, they're everywhere. Be careful. They want a mummy that they can fork. It's twisted. Don't fall for it.